everybody, how are you all doing? You join me today, Just pop it back on the side here. Well, you join me today on Saturday, 28th of July, and we have finally had a little bit of dampness down here. Yeah, we had a bit of rain overnight last night. Uh, we had a bit of rain on been Friday the 20th as well, a week ago. Only bits and pieces, mind. But, as you can see from the field in front of us, it is bringing it up. But you can also see that I'm on the JCB. I'm not sure how clear it is, but I'm carrying silage out to the cows. Feeding silage since I think about the middle of June. We started feeding silage in bales in the middle of June. We uh, just to make the paddocks for the cows last sort of 24 hours. We were helping out with a bit of silage, ground bale silage, and then about 10 days ago. No, more than that now. Uh, it would have been a fortnight ago now, or just over, uh, we opened the silage clamp up. The first cut, 2018 first cut we opened then. Uh, because we completely ran out of grass. We, uh, the farm at the end of June was very, very dry, quite burnt up. Not as burnt as some places, I would have to add. Um, you can see, you can see on the on the camera now. This is footage I shot on the 30th of June, and the farm has got quite a few burnt patches on it. We've got quite shallow soils in some places. Um, hardly any soil in other places was quite burnt up but we did have a little bit of grass. We had um, the cows were still on grass night and day at that time point. And now if we fast forward then to a little bit of footage I took, I think it was the 26th of July, two days ago, you see that the countryside is looking cleaner. Horrible bump there. Yeah, the countryside is looking greener, um, but we haven't got any grass. Like I said, we ran out of grass a fortnight ago, and in that fortnight now, the cows are on grass, well, or picking what little whiskey bits are there for. They go out after milking for about five, six hours. Come back in there at midday. So once I put this silage out this morning now, I'll uh, go and fetch the cows home and then we fetch them home at midday and they stay in this field then until milking time in the afternoon and then they're back out here uh, until tomorrow morning. Nice bit of rain this weekend, which is the forecast is giving. And get some fertilizer out next week. With a little bit of luck. Get a bit of fertilizer out. But even if we do have a good few days rain now, and I get fertilizer out early next week, it's gonna be a good two weeks. At least two weeks, I'd say, until we are um, probably be able to stop feeding silage. It'd probably be more like three weeks until we can cut the silage out altogether, I think. But luckily we've got it to feed. I know there's a lot of farmers that have already fed all of this year's first cut and they, they just don't know what to do for the winter. Um, Heck of a lot of ground has been hole cropped this year. Heck of a lot. And any scrap of 
I'm doing is uh, little grass has been cut and bailed up into hay or something or, or anything this year. And now we've seen the funky farmer do his video on his maze that looked really stressed and uh, quite warm. Some maze I went in early is looking not too bad. There's a chap um, I follow on Instagram, Pete. He farms up in the Cotswolds. He was in Agricultural College. Um, I think he's a year or two above me, I think, in Agricultural College. He farms up the Cotswolds and he put on Instagram last night a picture of his maze, and his maze was. All, all sort of six feet tall and looking really well. He must be one of the lucky ones who got it in early. So even though our part of Pembrokeshire is looking green down here, you know, the rest of the country isn't looking so green. Um, we went up to the sale of Oh, me and Dad about three weeks ago, maybe now it was the sale up near the top of Hereford. And right there, up the old A40, everything was just burnt to a crisp. And then I was going holiday with the family a week ago, and we were up in the Forest of Dean and Warwickshire near Stratford upon Avon, and there was nothing, no grass. All the barley have been cut. Obviously, the combines are wrong because they obviously break, but they only had winter wheat left to go. The only sad thing is, this year's harvest is very early, which isn't sad, but the sad thing is, the yields are very poor. Well, some yields are very poor then. Sorry, that's wrong. We probably won't outwinter anything on here. Not 
out on it or completely on the green ground. The plan is to, to move stock from the shed, spend like either dry cows or in-car heifers from the cubicle sheds out onto this for a couple of hours in the morning while we do do the scraping up with the bedding. That's the current plan and of course it all hinges on the rain whether we'll get any more or not. So yeah, that's probably enough of me blabbering on now. That's the situation down here. Um, we're feeding silage. The cows are milking quite well at the minute. They they had dropped off in milk um, when we were feeding the bale silage. Looking back, we should have opened the clamp sooner. Opened the first cut up sooner and fed them on that rather than last year's bales. Maybe they wouldn't have dropped off quite so much, but they're, they're holding now about 21 litres a cow. Um, so yeah, we're happy enough for that really. We have to up the cake as well. We up the cake when the grass is dropping and stuff, so... Yeah, there we are. We're in a similar situation for everybody else. But I'm fortunate that I'm not overstocked. And at the moment, we've got enough silage. Providing we do have enough rain this coming week. And we get some grass in August. Probably, probably be in for this video. I've blabbered on for long enough now. I'll say thanks for watching. If you want to keep up with a few other things that we I get up to here, um, have a look at my Snapchat, Instagram, or my Facebook page. They're all Cotland Farmer. Um, yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope everybody, all the farmers out there, get a bit of rain. the grass grow and then I hope you have a bit more sunshine because the sunshine was very very nice if I'm honest. It was nice when you finish work of an evening to be able to sit outside with a cup of tea or a nice cold beer and sit in the sun and enjoy it. Okay that'll be it. Thanks for watching. I've said that how many times now. Thanks for watching I'll see you next time. Bye bye.